Well, in Greg Hardy's UFC debut, he gets disqualified for a legal kick versus Alan Crowder. Let's talk about it. It's good fellow sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. And um, apparently, Greg Hardy, um, you know, it's illegal while a uh, while his opponent Alan Crowder was on the knee, uh, down on the ground to give it a knee to the head. He said it was uh, not intentional, and he don't want to be this to define him. And pretty much. Alan Crowder got um, uh, rewarded with a UFC fight night date or, or whatever it is, fight night date they're doing, man, where he get to go to a bigger UFC card. And uh, Greg Hardy didn't get that opportunity. He looked uh, debilitated, deflated. And, um, you know, hopefully get another opportunity. We know the history of him uh, allegedly putting his hands on women and getting, get out and getting pushed out the NFL for that. He found the calling card. I think Alan Crowder said he was going to beat, um, uh, he was going to beat uh, Greg Hardy for putting his hands on women, and he beat him. Show beat him by DQ. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it seemed like Hardy wasn't that bad, bro. It seemed like he came a long way from really not having no background doing that. So it's a little bit different from boxing, man. But um, he got a legal knee to the head of uh, Crowder, and Crowder basically gets to move on. And I don't know if, you know, uh, Greg will go back to Island Fights and try to build his name back up or will uh, UFC give him another shot. But you already know he on thin ice with ESPN already. He shouldn't even have been featured on ESPN or ESPN Plus, I have to be exact, because all the stuff they talking about domestic violence and how Walt Disney and ESPN are so against domestic violence. But then again, they just paid a purse to Greg Hardy to come on UFC and get it on. So... A lot of hip hypocrisy um, out here in networks, not only just in sports and life. But like I said before, um, see if he get another opportunity or he got to go back to Island Fights and build himself back up. Um, like, he took it hard, too. He was just sitting there like, damn. And he looked genuine uh, genuine with a sorrow, man, about the fight. Like, he really didn't mean to um, to, to knee Alan Crowder in the head. But hey, he did, man. And, um, you know, as he did it, man, I don't think Alan Crowder played the role of a flopper, neither. I mean, if you look in the crowd, everybody's face was like, damn, you know, like, like that was messed That was like a tough blow. And, you know, UFC, it's funny that Conor McGregor was talking about Floyd and uh, boxing, you know, being a limited sport. But UFC is different, too. Michael Jai White, who's somewhere in Ghana getting crowned as the king somewhere in some country over there in Africa, to be exact, or to be more, you know, be more proper, you know, was going around, you know, Conor was going around saying, you know, boxing limited. So is UFC. Because Michael Jai White said, you know, he he trying to kill, bro. When he go out there, and UFC is limited. And we just seen that today with, with the knee rule. So, you know, in the streets, ain't no rules, man. Ain't no referee to come save you. So, it just shows you that any organized combat sport is, um, it is, uh, it is, hand, it is uh, limited. You know, but, uh, you know, also TJ Dillashaw got beat up. I mean, coming down in weight. Uh, that's always tough in combat sports and, he came back down, and then the guy that beat him, he said he would accommodate him and come up next, come up next time to fight him. And that's warrior shit, man. I can't remember his name. I'm tired, but that's warrior shit, man. You know, you don't get that in boxing. You know, dude would have took the took the win and just never would have, you know, rematched you at another weight class. So, you know, salute to Greg Hardy, man. Um, keep your head up, I would guess. Um, I don't like none of the heinous acts you've done, but anybody that try to get their life together and try to find. Uh, salvation to try to find, you know, uh, peace or try to find a piece of some money in another sport and been on his best behavior so far. Everybody deserves a second or, or even third chances sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, one thing shouldn't define nobody's career. A lot of people made mistakes. Some mistakes are glorified more than mo more than most, but, you know, hopefully he get on track. Hopefully he get another shot. He got to go back to Ireland fights and build up. So be it, man. You know, just a minor setback for a major comeback. Goodfellas Sports TV. Don't forget we on Facebook, we on Twitter. Also, you can reach out to me in the email if you got a business question, inquiry, or sponsorship. Um, and if you want to make a donation to the channel, that links there as well too. Keep looking out for us. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And um, you know, they got the highlights on ESPN as well. If you missed it, it's a knee straight to the head, and I think it legitimately hurt Mr. Crowder tonight. Crowder didn't do what he said. He didn't say what he wanted to do. He was gonna be hardy for domestic violence. His domestic violence victims and women everywhere, he pretty much got a, you know, D, uh, DQ gift decision for the most part. Wish they would rematch, but hey, it is what it is. One time for the one time, we gone.